Hey, what's up, y'all? So this just popped into my head. Just been, you know, thinking about just everything that's been going on. This whole, you know, men and women being equal and, you know, femininity, masculinity, everything like this. And so something with, that I've noticed with women, a lot of modern day women is they'll try to compare their equalness to a man based on how much money that they make and, you know, how many, you know, things that they've accumulated in their in their life and all this type of stuff. But women don't realize you're comparing yourself to a man through masculine traits as if you're a man. What it is, if you want to look at yourself as a quote unquote equal or on on the same level as your man, your femininity level or the quality of your femininity should be equal with his. So if he's a 10 out of 10 in masculinity, not not necessarily his physical looks, but his masculinity, his, his leadership skills and, you know, providing, protecting and, you know, everything like this and being being disciplined and not, you know, reacting with his emotions and you know, being abusive, being, you know, disciplined and logical or anything like this. And let's say it's all just, you know, 10 out of 10 level, your femininity, that femininity energy should be 10 out of 10. It should be, you know, at least nine, you know, you're nurturing, you know, your listening skills and, you know, like being cooperative and everything like that, you know, being submissive. Yeah, I said it, you know, things like that. But a lot of modern women, they want to compare, oh, I make 120 K a year. So he's got to make at least a hundred to be with me and it's like no <laughs> like that doesn't make you quote unquote equal to a man you're a woman your your power lies within your femininity like i'm not saying that you know women can't make the money that they make or you know get a job or get a career that's what you want to do that that's your choice but understand that's not where your actual value lies now you can be proud of yourself and you know maybe that's where you get some of your self esteem from but understand that your actual in your nature as far as what you are and what where your actual power lies within human nature is within your femininity and how you carry yourself that's going to get you to be able to attract a masculine man otherwise you're going to attract a effeminate man who wouldn't mind being with a pseudo masculine woman but see you're not going to be happy with him you might be okay with it at first because you get to you know boss them around and wooty woo but after a while you're not going to respect them and you're going to get upset and that's when you say that oh well all men ain't about nothing when really what it is it's not that all men ain't about nothing it's just that all the men that you attract ain't about nothing because you're coming at it in your masculine energy so let's keep that in mind there's been wars fought in human history over feminine women over protecting and you know feminine energy i'm not saying you know war is good or bad i'm just saying you know i don't think modern women by and large understand the power in your true natural femininity but yeah that just popped into my head but uh you guys have a good one i got some other videos coming I, you know, i've been keeping up with everything that's going on it's been really busy just stay on this grind but uh yeah y'all have a good one peace